Hi, I'm Judy Kroll. Welcome to Get Fit with Judy. So what is a plank, you ask, and why do it? And actually, for that matter, how do you do it? You do it because you're using every muscle in the body. It's about activating the abs, upper and lower abs. And it's so important for you to have a strong core. So let me show you how to do the move. There are a couple different ways to do it. Depending on your strength and your beginner or advanced level, you'll want to make sure that you've got your wrist tracking right underneath your shoulders. You don't want your hands out here because you can definitely uh, injure your back if you're doing this the wrong way. So just make sure that you've got your wrist right under your shoulders, your hands are parallel, your feet are just a little bit apart, and you lift up, and now I'm on my toes. I have a very straight back. I'm not arching one way or the other. If you were to put a teacup right in the middle of my back, it wouldn't tip over because I have created a plank. So that's where the term comes from. It's just like the plank on a pirate ship. You're very, very straight. Now, right here, I have engaged my arms, my butt muscles, my ab muscles, everything is tight and working. Another way to do a plank is on your knees. And this is where I talk about uh, your, your level, your exercise level and your strength level. You will get just as much benefit on your knees doing a plank this way, especially holding your stomach in and having to hold your arms, keeping your body upright. You'll still be able to do this exercise. Make sure when you do it, you do not cross your feet. You want to keep them parallel. Some of the exercises that we'll do in a plank position. You can, from here, you can cross one leg over the other and hold that position. You can cross the other leg over to balance yourself and hold that position. You can do things like uh, outward motions with your legs. Again, activating the muscles in your glutes, your butt muscles, to keep them strong, keep them firm, keep them toned and looking good. Another thing that we can do is a side plank. And from here, you've definitely activated that whole part of the body. But other things to do, and I'm gonna come down into the, um, the knee work, is even doing very easy exercises, but that are still holding you up. Just even holding this position is increasing my heart rate. Whew. So I'm gonna give myself a break. Oftentimes from that position, I'll tell you, come down into a child's pose and what you've done because you've contracted all these muscles through here and your arms, you wanna give yourself a break. So you put your toes together in the back and you just sit back and stretch. And that's what's called a child's pose. So I'll always do that after any kind of plank exercise. So basically just wanted to make it short and sweet so that you understood the benefits of a plank and so that you'll do it with me the next time you see one of my exercise videos. Until then, have a great day and thanks for joining me.